assembly and rigging one, which is an acceptable safety device for a castle nut when installed on secondary structures. Cotter pen. 2. The angle of incidence is that acute angle formed by a line parallel to the wing cord and a line parallel to the longitudinal axis of the aircraft. 3. Movement of an airplane along its lateral axis roll is also movement around or about the longitudinal axis controlled by the ailerons. 4. If the control stick of an aircraft with properly rigged flight controls is moved forward and to the right, the left aileron will move down and the elevator will move down. 5. A universal propeller protractor used to measure the degrees of aileron travel should be zeroed with the aileron in the neutral position. 6. A reduction in anti-torque thrust will cause the tail to pivot in the direction of torque rotation around the main rotor axis. 7. Stability about the axis which runs parallel to the line of flight is referred to as lateral stability. 8. The vast majority of aircraft control cables are terminated with swag terminals that must be checked with a go-no-go -no -go gauge before and after to show compliance with the manufacturer's requirements after the swagging operation. 9. An airplane which has good longitudinal stability should have a minimum tendency to pitch. 10. When used in close proximity to magnetic compasses, cotter pins are made of what material? Corrosion-resisting steel. 11. What is the purpose of the freewheeling unit in a helicopter drive system? It disconnects the rotor whenever the engine stops or slows below the equivalent of rotor RPM. 12. Very often, repairs to a control surface require static rebalancing of the control surface. Generally, Flight control balance condition may be determined by the behavior of the trailing edge when the surface is suspended from its hinge points. 13. How are changes in direction of a control cable accomplished? Pulleys. 14. Wing dihedral, a rigging consideration on most airplanes of conventional design, contributes most to stability of the airplane about its longitudinal axis. 15. An airplane's center of lift is usually located aft of its center of gravity, so that the airplane will have a nose-heavy tendency. 16. If control cables are adjusted properly and the control surfaces tend to vibrate, the probable cause is worn attachment fittings. 17. Refer to figure 8. Identify the cable that is used in primary control systems and in other places where operation over pulleys is frequent. 3. 18. The purpose in checking main rotor blade tracking is to determine the relative position of the blades during rotation. 19. The correct dihedral angle can be determined by using a dihedral board and bubble level along the front spar of each wing. 20. The cord of a wing is measured from leading edge to trailing edge. 21. Aircraft flight control trim systems must be designed and installed so that the pilot can determine the relative position of the trim tab from the cockpit. 22. Other than the manufacturer maintenance manual what other document could be used to determine the primary flight control surface deflection for an imported aircraft that is reassembled after shipment? Aircraft type certificate data sheet. 23. What non-destructive checking method is normally used to ensure that the correct amount of swagging has taken place when installing swag type terminals on aircraft control cable? Use a terminal gauge to check the diameter of the swag portion of the terminal. 24. Rigging and alignment checks should not be undertaken in the open. However, if this cannot be avoided, the aircraft should be positioned with the nose into the wind. 25. If the vertical fin of a single-engine, propeller-driven airplane is rigged properly, it will generally be parallel to the vertical axis but not the longitudinal axis. 26. If a single-rotor helicopter is in forward horizontal flight, the angle of attack of the advancing blade is less than the retreating blade. 27. A tension regulator in the flight control cable system of a large all-metal aircraft is used primarily to Retain a set tension. 28. 
during inspection of the flight control system of an airplane equipped with differential type aileron control, side to side movement of the control stick will cause each aileron to have a greater up travel from the streamlined position than down travel. 29. An airplane is controlled directionally about its vertical axis by the rudder. 30. If a pilot reports that an airplane flies left wing heavy, this condition may be corrected by increasing the angle of incidence of the left wing, or decreasing the angle of incidence of the right wing, or both. 31. Fair leads should never deflect the alignment of a cable more than 3 degrees. 32. With which system is differential control associated? Aileron. 33. Where is fuselage station number 137 located? 137 inches aft of the zero or fixed reference line. 34. Differential control on an aileron system means that the up travel is more than the down travel. 35. If all instructions issued by the swagging tool manufacturer are followed when swagging a cable terminal, the resultant swag terminal strength should be the full rated strength of the cable. 36. Refer to figure 9. When the outside air temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, select the acceptable 316 cable tension range. 117 pounds minimum, 143 pounds maximum. 37. Why is it generally necessary to jack an aircraft indoors for weighing? So that air currents do not destabilize the scales. 38. The purpose of wing slats is to reduce stalling speed. 39. If the control stick of an aircraft with properly rigged flight controls is moved rearward and to the left, the right aileron will move down and the elevator will move up. 40. The elevators of a conventional airplane are used to provide rotation about the lateral axis. 41. Which statement is correct concerning torque effect on helicopters? Torque direction is the opposite of rotor blade rotation. 42. Main rotor blades that do not cone by the same amount during rotation are said to be out of track. 43. The auxiliary tail rotor of a helicopter permits the pilot to compensate for and or accomplish which of the following? Torque and directional control. 44. Movement about the lateral axis pitch in a helicopter is affected by movement of the cyclic pitch control. 45. The acute angle formed by the cord line of a wing and the relative wind is known as the angle of attack. 46. One purpose of the freewheeling unit required between the engine and the helicopter transmission is to automatically disengage the rotor from the engine in case of an engine failure. 47. Where does the breakage of control cable wires occur most frequently? Breakage usually occurs where cables pass over pulleys and through fair leads. 48. When a fiber or nylon insert type, self-locking nut can be threaded on a bolt or stud through the insert with only the fingers, it should be rejected. 49. The dihedral angle of the wing may be measured by placing a straight edge and level protractor on the front spar. 50. Where is the buttock line or butt line of an aircraft? A width measurement left or right of, and parallel to, the vertical center line. 51. Which should be accomplished before jacking an aircraft? Install critical stress panels or plates. 52. After repairing or recovering a rudder, the surface should be rebalanced. To manufacturer's specifications. 53. Which statement concerning the 100-hour inspection of an airplane equipped with a push-pull tube type control system is true? The threaded rod ends should be checked for the amount of thread engagement by means of the inspection hole provided. 54. The universal propeller protractor can be used to measure degrees of flap travel. 55. A helicopter in forward flight, cruise configuration, changes direction by tilting the main rotor disc in the desired direction. 56. Buffeting is the intermittent application of forces to a part of an airplane. It is caused by an unsteady flow from turbulence. 57. 
movement about the longitudinal axis roll in a helicopter is affected by movement of the cyclic pitch control. 58. When inspecting a control cable turnbuckle for proper installation, determine that the safety wire ends are wrapped a minimum of four turns around the terminal end shanks. 59. Improper rigging of the elevator trim tab system will affect the balance of the airplane about its lateral axis. 60. As the angle of attack of an airfoil increases, the center of pressure will move toward the leading edge. 61. Proper wing twist in a sheet metal constructed wing can usually be checked by utilizing a bubble level and special fixtures described by the manufacturer. 62. What type of flap system increases the wing area and changes the wing camber? Fowler flaps. 63. Excessive wear on both of the sides of a control cable pulley groove is evidence of pulley misalignment. 64. The vertical flight of a helicopter is controlled by collective pitch changes. 65. What physical factors are involved in the aspect ratio of airplane wings? Span and cord. 66. The purpose of the vertical fin is to provide directional stability. 67. When the lift of an airfoil increases, the drag will also increase. 68. The cable-operated control system of an all-metal aircraft, not incorporating a temperature-compensating device, has been rigged to the correct tension in a heated hangar. If the aircraft is operated in very cold weather, the cable tension will decrease when the aircraft structure and cables become cold. 69. Placing a piece of cloth around a stainless steel control cable and running it back and forth over the length of the cable is generally a satisfactory method of inspecting for broken wires. 70. In a hovering helicopter equipped with a tail rotor, directional control is maintained by varying the pitch of the tail rotor blades. 71. The primary purpose of stall strips is to stall the inboard portion of the wings first. 72. The angle of incidence of an airplane at rest does not change when in flight. 73. If the travel of an airplane's controls is correct but the cables are rigged exceptionally tight, what probable effect will this have when flying the airplane? The airplane will be heavy on the controls. 74. The purpose of spring tabs or servo tabs is to assist the pilot in moving the control surfaces. 75. If the right wing of a monoplane is improperly rigged to a greater angle of incidence than designated in the manufacturer's specifications, it will cause the airplane to be off balance both laterally and directionally. 76. An airplane that has a tendency to gradually increase a pitching moment that has been set into motion has poor longitudinal stability. 77. Washing in the left wing of a monoplane, for purposes of rigging corrections after flight test, will have what effect on the lift and drag of that wing? Both drag and lift will increase due to increased angle of attack. 78. What is the smallest size cable that may be used in aircraft primary control systems? 1 8 inch. 79. Movement of the cockpit control toward the nose zone position during a ground operational check of the elevator trim tab system will cause the trailing edge of the trim tab to move in which direction? Upward regardless of elevator position. 80. In rotorcraft external loading, the ideal location of the cargo release is where the line of action passes through the center of gravity at all times. 